souls. And they might not do it with joy and not with grief, for that is an unprofitable thing for you. After all, Tabernacle, he, he has a high calling from God to lead you and to love you. And even greater accountability for his service. Amen. While he's here on this earth. Can I get a witness? So then, what is his responsibility to you? What is it? What is it? What is it? What should you do in making it a joyful time here for Reverend Henry Gaither and his family? I believe we have a threefold purpose in supporting your new pastor. I'm going to deal with these three folds, Reverend, and then I'm going to quit. Amen. First of all, the most important task, tabernacle, that you have as a church body is to pray daily, both individually and collectively, for Pastor Gaither and his family and your church staff. Did, did, did y'all hear what I said? Pray daily. Both individually and collectively yeah. for Pastor Gaither, his family, and your church staff. Why do we ask of you to do that? Because Satan is having a field day destroying the lives and ministry of pastors and their families. He's having a good time. Amen. Your pastor and his wife are under constant attack. And the attacks are relentless and at times quite unexpected. Amen. And, and they will come from some professed believers. You know, those individuals who go to church every Sunday. Amen. Who are always singing loud. Clapping their hands loud. Shouting all the time. You know, those kind of folk that means uh, all kinds of holy heaven church. And then they continue that holy heaven wherever they go. Gotta watch out for them, Pastor. Those are possessed believers as well as unbelievers. <laughs> your integrity and your credibility are magnified under a microscope in a community for the most part. And for the most part, this community doesn't recognize or know Jesus. There are some who rejoice every time a follower of Jesus, especially a pastor, falls ethically or morally. Right. Tabernacle, your pastor and his family live in a glass house. Did you say that? Yeah. Live in a glass house. They commit your prayers. They need your prayers. Pray for Pastor Gator and Ella. Amen. On a daily basis, asking God to give them wisdom and to protect them both as faithfully as they serve our master Jesus. That's the first thing. Second, there's a second thing. You must, as a congregation, be patient with Pastor Gaither. He is stepping into a flawed church. Can I repeat that to you? He's stepping into a flawed church. That's F-L-A-W-E-D, church. For we are all flawed people. I don't want to stay in Bible country when I tell you, for all of us have sinned and have come short of the glory of God. The church is made up of sick folk, defective people who seek the great physician. Amen, amen. And I Tabernacle that Reverend Gaither will faithfully preach God's word and love you as God's under shepherd. And it's going to take time for him to learn all your names. It's going to take time for him to learn the city of Winder. It's going to take time for him to deal with your idiosyncrasies. Can I get a witness here? It's going to take time for you to appreciate his leadership. You, you, you may not agree with him all the time. Amen. It'll take time for you to understand why he said what he said when he said it. Amen. Well, sometimes he says things he didn't know he was going to say. But you got to love him in spite of that. Put yourself in his place. As he tries to memorize 
hundreds of names, especially at his age. <laughs> Run the race that God has given to you. Yeah. 